Buried deep in the Siberian permafrost, a recent discovery was made. A so-called giant virus was unearthed, and it can't affect humans, thankfully, but it, it may make its way along that path, perhaps? And it's larger in size than most viruses, as classified. You could see it under a it's regular microscope. Yeah, but it's not like 10 feet. Right. But it is it's larger. It's not even 10 like inches. Crawl, they're not crawling around. It's, it's subjectively microscope. larger than most. Uh, most other viruses. Yeah. The, this one that they found has 500 genes, where for comparison, HIV has 12 genes. And Pandora virus has 2,500. So that's a lot. That's, yeah. That may not necessarily mean it has more information. It just means that the information was coded. Like, imagine 500,000 pieces of paper, and if each one had like one line of code on it, mm -hmm. that's not necessarily more code than if all the information was written on 2,000 yeah. pieces of paper, right? So like. The, new, the newer organisms that are out there, like humans, uh, our, our genes are more compact and you can read the information in a more, like it takes more, uh, it takes more to read all the information on humans than it does in a, in a simple organism Well, researchers like have said that uh, these giant viruses are harder to, to break open and they tend to be more, more tough. So, and yeah. they, they do well in these harsh environments, I guess, of, of extreme cold. I mean, mm. it makes sense that the viruses that we find that are 30,000 years old are hardy enough to survive, preserved yeah. in ice or on the bottom of the ocean. Yes, but for now, uh, this, this discovered virus does not, um, cannot affect people in a negative way, but of course, it, you're pointing your finger, go! It paints a scary <laughs> picture. It says that, like, yes, stuff is buried under the ice in, you know, the North and South Pole. Mm -hmm. Yes, climate change is a real thing. A virus we've never had to deal with before can still be active buried yeah. in the ice. This one doesn't affect humans, but maybe the next one will. Well, if it yeah. were maybe a virus in a deceased human that was frozen. What? Yeah, that would happen. So maybe, do you care about glaciers now, y'all? <laughs> you should. <laughs> I think the scarier thing actually is is the climate change portion because up there in Siberia there are so many well, I can't remember what it is but like I can't, um, there's so much natural gas buried underneath Siberia right now that once all that stuff the permafrost starts melting yeah we're going to get these organisms coming out but we're actually going to get a whole bunch of new greenhouse gases that are coming up and they're on a massive scale like it will actually change our atmosphere and so that's the part I'm actually more worried about is like dying because the earth is going to like turn into whatever this next next phase of uh, climate change. Yes, a super vi well, a giant virus rather uh, was unearthed. We don't know what else is under there. There is definitely um, potential for more danger that to come along with global warming. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> All right. Please let us know what you think below and subscribe.